please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you hello everyone and welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for watching more update videos so today we will be talking about how to calculate the horizontal and vertical reactions of the simply supported beam so before we start we should know some basic things about support reactions so we have three different types of support reaction reactions first we have a roller support second we have pen support and the third we have text support roller support you can draw like this it has only one reaction which is acting vertically pen support you can draw like that it has two reaction horizontal reaction and vertical reaction and the fixed support Fixed support has three reactions horizontal reaction, vertical reaction, and moment. I hope that you can say here fixed support here. Sorry. Let me just zoom out a bit. Yeah. Okay, so now come let's start to our example one. Let me just take out the ruler from let's say if you have beam Point A, we are doing except tank support. And point B, we are doing except roller support. So the ten kilometer is acting three meter away from point B. Three meter and four meter. <coughs> As I mentioned earlier. The pen support has only two reactions and the roller has one reaction. So now we have to, so VA and HA. And the roller has only one support, which is only VB. So how to calculate the reactions of this beam? Always start from horizontal axis, vertical axis, and then take a moment. First, we take sum of Fx. Fx means all the forces acting toward x-axis. So we have we have only HA, but we don't have any force acting toward horizontally. Therefore, our HA is equal to zero. Now, second step, we have to take the summation of moment at y-axis, if y equals zero. So we have the forces acting at the direction of y-axis. So we have VA plus VB is equal to 10 kilonewton. So now we know VA plus VB is equal to 10 kilonewton. So how should we find the 
value for the VA and a value for the VV. To find this, so we have to take a moment. Summation of moment. You can take a moment at any point. You can take a moment at point A or at point B. So, so I'm taking a moment at point A. And I'm assuming anticlockwise positive. So VA, VB, sorry, times the total distance is seven. We have any force acting towards VB. We don't have any forces, so we know only the 10 kilonewton acting opposite to VB, which means equal to 10 kilonewton times four. So seven VB is equal to 40 kilonewton. So both are divided by seven. So the VB is equal to 40 divided by 7, which is equal to 5.7 kilo newton. And what's VA? And the VA is equal to, <coughs> so we know VA plus V is equal to 10. So what we do now, instead of VB, we put a value, we can find the value of VA. So VA, we have 10 minus 5.7, we have 4.3 kilonewton. Very simple. So we will do one more example, similar, but this time we'll take a moment at point B, and let's see. This is example two. Point A and support. Point B, total support. And this time, we are assuming two forces acting downward: 10 kilometer and 5 kilometer. The distance are 3 meter, 4 meter, and 3 meter. This point A, that's point B. We have to do the same procedure again. Sum of fx equals 0. VA, HA, and VB. So HA is equal to 0 because we don't have the forces acting towards horizontally. Second step, we have to take summation of moment at Fy is equal to 0. So we have VA plus VB is equal to 10 plus 5, which means VA plus VB is equal to 15 kilonewton. So now third step is you have to take a moment to find the values for VA and VB. So this time, instead of taking a moment at pin, we have to take a moment at roller. So sum of moment, at point B equal to zero. So I assume that clockwise positive. VA times the total distance, which is uh, six times four ten, is equal to <coughs> ten times three plus five times seven. So 10 VA is equal to 30 plus 35. So both sides divide by 10. This will be cancel this. So the VA is equal to 30 plus 35 divided by 10, which we have 6 point the VB and the V for VA kilonewton and our VB is equal to 10 procedures so 15 15 minus 6.5 we have 8.5 kilonewton so we have find the value for VA and VB 
Thank you so much guys for watching my video. If you have any question, please comment below my video and I will reply to you as soon as I see your message. Thank you so much.